you find him, shoot on If I have to give a prediction, I think himself. the ice guy is doing first, something with flooding the city. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Theta, and this is... Justin. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, online, you'll find me as One Bad Roll. It's been a while since I have had some activity, but I got a invite from Theta, and I figured let's see what happens. Um, haven't watched much anime whatsoever. Only a couple options that I didn't realize were anime, so let's see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what you would be uh, alluding to as not knowing what is anime. So I know what it is. No, no, no. I mean, what you, you said, a couple of options you didn't realize were anime. Oh, 100%. I didn't realize that Saint Seiya was anime when I was growing up. Oh, I okay. I just watched it because it was dope. Yeah, that was one of your two examples. The other being... Digimon. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, those are two shows that I didn't... Well, I, I guess I watched, like, three episodes of Digimon and the movie. The first yeah, movie. It, the first movie was one of the better ones. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I only watched the one. I mean, I wasn't a Pokemon kid or a Digimon kid, so I wasn't in the, the camp. Yeah, I found Pokemon boring. I tried. I couldn't do it. All right. But for you returning viewers wondering why the hell are we back at episode one, obviously I did not think it was fair to ask Justin here to come back and just start from episode 51 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I guess I should explain to you. Uh, new viewers, skip ahead to wherever we're starting the episode. Uh, returning viewers, obviously, go wherever you want. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a re-release of Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist was the original run of the show that was released before the manga was finished. So, it makes its own ending that's is completely different from the manga. So I'd say about 16 episodes in from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, it becomes a different show from Full Metal Alchemist. So the first 16 episodes, though, are like shortened versions of the Full Metal Alchemist uh, versions of those episodes, which will be like 32 episodes in length in the original 16 here. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I don't know what else to get into to describe the show to you, other than the fact I think you can figure out you know what alchemy is. Yes, I know, I know what alchemy is. I know that, if I'm correct, there's either a person or a suit of armor that's brought, brought to life or transformed. I know that, and I know it has some interesting dark moments. Okay. Beyond that, I don't know much. Well, I don't think there's anything else I can give that wouldn't be a spoiler. So, I say we go ahead and get into it. Absolutely. Before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure. It's all to support the channel, just a little bit extra. Freezing alchemist. Really? He's here? We have information that he managed to I always forget that I have this set to different ago. volume levels. That's why I've summoned you, Colonel. <laughs> I need you and your men to smoke him out and bring him in. Consider it done, sir. <laughs> I'm glad you're with us in Central for a while, Mustang. It's good to know I have people here I can count on. Sir, uh, one last thing. Our rising the framing of this conversation is so weird. At your disposal. It is. Me, However, I'm a, just the clear, art, the fact that to, the art yeah. style is as smooth as it is, is impressive. Okay, it's so much newer than what you've watched in the past. Absolutely. We already bought our tickets for Lior, too. Does this mean we're not going? I don't know, Al. For now, didn't expect that voice from that buddy. Nobody ever does. <laughs> no, what I meant before about the, uh, the framing is that if you're watching it with subtitles, Roy's at the very bottom of the screen being covered by words. And all you're seeing That's is incredible. a door frame and a chandelier. That's incredible. Also, probably the best opening of the entire show. Oh, I'll also 
things I forgot to say before we started. One, best to just talk right over the opening because openings get uh, flagged for copyright uh, in the YouTube thing. So sense. we're just going to talk right over this so the music gets uh, covered. But I also forgot to mention that anytime we talk during the show... Yep. By the way, sympathetic, sympathetic wiggle. You saw the other two get ripped apart, and she just goes. It's always hey, funny. Hey, hey, any move you got to do to not to not get taken. Um. Yeah. Anytime we talk during the show is a moment that the screen gets covered, because it's easier just to do that for copyright. It's Understood. a natural moment to cover the screen. Okay. So, I guess the idea is react more to the th something that just happened or is about to happen but if you see something cool that is happening understood there he goes that way you halt halt or I'll shoot Water boils. Either Something way, I'm always bad at is trying to point things out or knowing when I should. That's alchemy. What a nasty thing to do. You of all people should know great deeds require great sacrifice. Isn't that the law of equivalent exchange? Save your breath. The laws of alchemy don't justify murder. Do you see any difference between the way that they're doing things? I definitely do. Don't be too impressed. Oh, I forgot he just I, says it out loud. I also love the fact that they just mentioned the law of equivalent exchange. It's an important thing to keep in mind. No, I had you! Any water there should have boiled! If it's any consolation, you did ruin my coat. An automate alarm! Young, gifted alchemist. Auto male is a uh, prosthetics in this world. And who has an auto male right arm? I know you. You are the full metal alchemist, Edward Elric. So it's not you? Um, no. I'm his younger brother, Alphon. But he's a rat. Oh, yeah, can a rat do this? <laughs> I've heard the stories, but still, I never imagined this. The full metal alchemist is just a little kid. Don't call me little! Not getting the point. 100%, that was glorious. Don't call me small. Bang. Well, even if he wasn't, he still pissed me off! So you're the one we've been hearing all the stories about lately. The full metal alchemist. You're as good as they say. Thanks for the help. Well, you can understand everyone's confusion here. Well, yeah, the one... Oh, that's on, made of all now. metal isn't the full metal alchemist? That can't be right. And in fairness, Ed has a bad nickname. <laughs> what is that, Steam? Brother, he's gone! <sighs> Damn it, now he really pissed me off! Looks like you underestimated your opponent, full metal. Who is this guy anyway? What the hell are you talking about? There was six other guys there. <laughs> but no, you had to go charging right Yeah, after. yeah, I get it, all right? I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. <laughs> Next time a superior tells you to pay attention, you might just try it. Fine. Now then, his name is Isaac McDougal, or as he was known back in the day, Isaac the Freezer. He's a former state alchemist. Former? That's right. Like I said, this is also how the first uh, series started. Love it. I also like the fact that instead of blaming the cops for losing the perp, they're like, hey kid, you fucked up. I think the point to be made is that not everyone is an alchemist. So actual alchemists have elevated authority and responsibility. Understood. Off topic. Have you turned up any leads for getting your bodies back to normal? 
Maybe if you ever gave us time to look. Roy, how goes? Heard you let him put you in charge of catching the freezer, huh? One hell of a nasty assignment. But hey, could be your chance to earn that promotion to Central. Oh, see? Looks like my timing was perfect. You two are the Elric brothers, right? Wow, it's an honor to finally meet the youngest state alchemist ever. You're a real legend around here. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Mays Hughes, a pleasure. Um, you want Edward. I'm actually his younger brother, Alfred. Even his higher-ups make the same mistake. Oh, little alchemist? Sorry, I had no idea you'd be so... Go on, say little. I dare you. Hughes. Yeah? What are you doing here? Go home. Actually, I'm here on official business. You, Elrics. I understand that you two don't have a place to stay, which means you'll have to come with me. Mm -hmm. ah! My wife, Gracia, and my daughter, Alicia, we'd love to have you. Hi, princess! <laughs> One of the most adorable families in anime. Ah, uh, you can already feel it. To meet you. My name is Edward Elric. It's another instance of the uh, the subtitles not fitting what's being said. In the subtitles, she's just saying so tall, so short. That's an interesting. Uh, that's an interesting choice. It happens all the time. First, first go through that I was watching as I kept pointing out. What do you think that was? What food was that? Uh, quiche. Yep. what I always guessed, and keep getting questioned about why I would think it was quiche. I think if there's one thing that won't throw me off is anime food. thing is that I've never actually seen the quiche in person. So for me, I guess it was just a lucky guess. The alchemist wants me to come play his sidekick. Well, as fun as that sounds, the Crimson Alchemist works alone. I always have. Kimberly, if we work together, we can bring down Bradley and his godforsaken military. You saw the horrors that took place in Ishval. You were there, damn it. You know the things Bradley ordered us to do, the kind of man he really is. That's why you killed all those officers, isn't it? To send him a message. <laughs> I think you've got me all wrong. My motives aren't so sophisticated as revenge or honor or any of that. The reason I killed all of those men was because I could. It's that simple. Hmm. That's too bad, Kimberly. That truly is too bad. So I wonder how this guy wandered into a prison. Yeah, I was gonna say, because last we saw he had, he had escaped. You'd think the move would be to avoid going to the prison at all costs. Can't sleep? Guess not. Well, I can only think he killed everybody on the way in. Yeah. Which would be like a lot of clues left of which where he's at. You're worrying about these and boys, and they were all frozen, so they clearly know, know who it was. You know what they call state alchemists, right? The dogs of the military, not exactly the most popular bunch. And I try to imagine what that must be like enduring that at his age. Gracia's quiche. It looked a lot like mom's, huh? Yeah, almost as good, too. Really? In that case, I'm definitely adding it to the list of things I'm gonna eat once I get my body back. Right. Put it on there, right near the top. Brother. I guess it would be a thing if you hadn't already described what his situation was, so... No. <laughs> Something that you already know. Yeah. One more. One more and Fuhrer Bradley is on his way to hell. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Your mid-commercial role. confirmed report that McDougal broke into Central Prison last night. Whatever he's up to, he's growing bold. That means our time is short. Close off all roads. Search every square inch of the city. When you find him, shoot on If sight. I have to give a that prediction, I think... Himself. The ice guy is but if I find him doing first, something with flooding the city. Get a medic! Hurry! You're not far off. Five men dead. How awful. 
looks like a steam explosion. Raise the temperature of water fast enough, it expands with the force of a bomb blast, and the human body is 70% water. Let's hurry. We have to find him before he hurts anyone else. I will say, though, most uh, alchemists in this show do have a theme. Impressive reflexes, Isaac. You are able to dodge my alchemy so easily. I know that voice. Is that you, Armstrong? Indeed! None other! It is I, the strong arm alchemist. Alex Where they get their nicknames from. That mustache. I've always wanted to chop that ego down to size. Except you'll need far more than water to quench my fists. That's right, yeah, he made projectiles of his own head. Hey, at least he understands Brandon. Well, I mean, you saw Ed make a uh, bat with his own face at the end of it, too. It's been a long time, Freezer. Well, Roy Mustang. <laughs> so the Flame Alchemist came out to play. See, now you know what his theme is. I'd rather not fight an old war buddy. War buddy? Please, don't flatter yourself. I knew no friends in Ishval. Only military bastards and their damn dogs! When water meets flame, the flame goes out. Still there. Perfect. Stop, right there. I was wondering what you were doing in this alley, so I came back to check it out. And bingo! <laughs> There's nowhere to run. It's also important to remember that Roy is above Ed. He's the one giving Ed orders. But Roy was also being given orders at the very beginning of the episode, too, by somebody else. An alchemic reaction? On this scale? Impossible. Unless... You don't think he's... The Philosopher's Stone! <laughs> also, there was a blink and you'll miss it face that just showed up for a second there. Edward Elric. You've sworn your life to the state of the dog of the military. I saw... I, I saw the face. I don't know what it means, but I saw it. Who cares? You it's wouldn't, but it'd be... It's important to remember. Wonderful. doing what needs to be done! I told you I don't care! Stone, don't you? What are you talking about? I won't ask again. Where is it? And what are you going to do, boy? You're out of your league. Do very one of smart idea to knock him next to the uh, next to the canal. Yeah. It's also his tagline. That's unexpected. What the heck are you doing? You're making it worse! No, I'm just merely... Also curious to see what all Philosopher's Stones can do. Because the idea of a Philosopher's Stone in alchemy is a big deal. Well, I'm glad to know you're interested, because it's... ...a central theme of the show. Mm. If it wasn't, I'd be concerned. With, with the naming convention. Them I'm on it. You're King Bradley. For your cold-blooded crimes in Ishval, I condemn you to a frozen hell. Not so fast! So you see, not quite flooding.
Oh no, you're so surprised. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh no. But that, that could only be true if his soul was bonded to the armor. So you lost your arm, and your brother, he lost his entire body. <laughs> I see. It all makes sense. You fools committed the ultimate taboo! You attempted human transmutation, didn't you? Alchemy's one and only unforgivable sin! Oh, snap. Oh, damn it! This can't be happening! No! God, what have I done? Give him back! He's my brother! Just give him back! He's my little brother! He's all I have left! No worry, you'll be getting more of that. I was gonna really say, doing them. alchemy with blood can't have any repercussions. I think there's a a bigger implication being made. Give it up. There's no water for you to use here. Huh. You've forgotten something. Anyone who's ever watched Avatar knows what's coming up next. If you get stabbed with something, don't don't pull out what, what you were stabbed with and bleed out. What do you think of my the comment I hear that most about comes from Starship Troopers. It's bad enough that he's useless on you see now? Days. Yes. Dizzy's giant wound. <laughs> yep. And a smooth transition to black and white. See him pull out his sword. Nope. I knew he struck because of the because of the swoopy wind motions. However, now that is too bad. Major, go now. Leave it to me. this will not fail. It's worth noting in the overlay we have oh face again in the overlay we have the one-eyed guy that you saw pull out the yep. sword is the guy who i have representing me in the overlay you're bradley nice you're well i had oh, yes. all this art Job drawn done, him right there yeah. came out to see if i could lend a hand and to think that i'd actually be the one to catch him if nothing else this should make an exciting story for my son Unfortunately, you're sitting over top of Griffin's character, who was Ed at the moment, but if we keep going with this, I can get you replaced. I just destroyed the transmutation circles. The Fuhrer is the one who actually brought down McDougal. Sure, but the Fuhrer is telling everyone it was you, so congratulations! The, the gentleman with the mustache is either just a really good guy, or a real horrible bastard. One of two options. You know, we never did find out whether or not he had a philosophy. Also, I guess clarification, just in case it ever comes up. The leader is obviously the Fuhrer, right? Because it's all based on Germany, sort of thing. Yep. His name is King. Okay. His name is King Bradley. 
So he's Fuhrer King Bradley. He's not a king. His name is King. <laughs> Understood. I see, so Isaac's dead, is he? That's a shame. I had such high hopes for him, too. Remember that term, but too. The Philosopher's Stone? <laughs> Sounds like he overused it. Gluttony. Try to chew quietly. I'm on the phone. Yes, things are going well here in New York. <laughs> we'll be ready. It all begins very soon. All right, same thing with the outro with the opening credits. We'll just talk over it. Absolutely. I guess also uh, confusingly, before you get yours, um, he's sometimes referred to as President Fuhrer. So President Fuhrer King Bradley really is only just the Fuhrer. So he's just every leadership role, but most of them are just either ceremonial or given name. Well, he's Fuhrer because Fuhrer just means leader. He's yes. president because he was actually elected into office. Okay. So he's President Fuhrer, or, you know, whatever that actually would mean. Yep. And his name is King. Yep, okay, that makes sense. Are right, you had thoughts? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, in, uh, interesting. I like the fact that they're touching on actual alchemy stuff and not just using uh, using it as as a name to, to say, to explain stuff. Without giving actual explanation, also seven deadly sin stuff um, seems interesting with with that as well. I'm confused by when you, when you say that because oh, because you mean the actual okay. Sorry, there's also an anime called Seven Deadly Sins. Yes. So no, not the anime, like the actual Seven Deadly Sins. Okay, because I can logically deduce that that was gluttony and lust. Yeah, well, I think she said her name was lust, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Risen Ball, a quiet town. The place where Edward and Alphonse were born. The home they once shared with their mother. In the hopes of returning to happier times, the boys commit the ultimate taboo and are forced to confront the truth. Next time on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Episode 2, we'll see The First Day. The day they resolved their hearts to begin the journey. So yeah, that's the um, that's the kind of trick to the to start, is that they start you off like maybe I don't know, it's not very far into their journey. The first episode just throws you in. Mm -hmm. Second episode, we're going back to the the beginning, to the start of the story. Yeah. So the things that you're thinking about, like oh, I like how they're doing the alchemy stuff and all this other things should be explained now in the next episode because we're going back to them learning or the the impetus of their story. Makes sense. Uh any other any other thoughts about this episode? Um it was good pacing. I enjoyed it. Have to see how the show goes. Yeah, episode one is a hard um it's a hard thing to comment or judge about because there's a lot there that you should remember for the entire season going forwards and there's a lot there that you can actually just forget but will be funny to remember if you remember any of it because I can't say there's no because mm -hmm. because reasons yeah so all I can do is point out hey guy's face you know I might say yeah. hey remember that guy from episode one you know there's not a lot I can say right now. I hate to give out spoilers, and I, I'll i be honest with you, I tend to gaslight more than I actually give out good information. I, w I would rather it be that way, because then when things happen, it's uh, it's not a, oh, yeah, I saw it coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would rather you hang on a noose of your own making than yes. me spelling stuff out for you to let you know. Yep, Com crafting in the head it j just makes whatever happens uh, that much more surprising. It's just funny because now I'm in the position where at least for 51 episodes now, I can know what's going on versus the last time we've done this, I had no idea for past 16 episodes what was coming. 
But then yeah. again, I think I made fun more than I actually paid attention. So this is my second chance as well. Your <laughs> first time and your first, I guess, major anime after Saint Seiya, I guess, because I don't yeah. know the depth of Saint Seiya. I, I, I can't remember how much it, there is of it, but I know it's multiple seasons. I think it's either, I think it's around th- between three and five. Well, I mean, I don't know how serious uh, Saint Seiya is versus other anime. Uh, it gets pretty serious. I don't have a comparison point, but it gets pretty serious. Uh, do you remember what year it came out? I want to say in the late 80s. Okay. So, kind of the difference between coming from a cartoony anime style to actual real hard storylines. Because, like, say Astro Boy is, like, the first real publicly available anime that comes out in 1963. And despite having some very serious storyline plots, like abandonment of children, death, and whatnot, yeah, it also plays very cartoony. Like, you could put Astro Boy 1963 next to, say, Popeye. Like the original Popeye cartoons, and people would be doing the same shit in both. But Astro Boy also has, like, child death and parent parental abandonment and things like this. So. Yeah, no, Saint Seiya was 86 to 89, and it, it, it touches on those topics. Like, one of the, fir- like, the, the, one of the first, like, big villains in it is based off, like, the Phoenix. And, like, it's, like, they show him get gruesomely t- killed because he can come back to life. It's funny, you said, based on the Phoenix. And first off, yep. obviously, I think of the, uh, the Phoenix that resurrects itself in its own ashes. Yep. My second thought is X Men Phoenix Force. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, I'm actually rewatching through the original X Men cartoon right now because of the new release. You know, I and thought I of doing that. Before I do stuff. I literally thought of doing that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going through the Phoenix stuff right now. I know I never finished uh, original X Men. I like the previews for the new X Men showing uh, Xavier on his deathbed. It's like, oh, I didn't know he died. <laughs> I'm just like, I think the Bish- Bishop appearing was like literally one of the last things I saw in the original cartoons. Not appearing, but like them like sitting in water or something, looking at a destroyed world because they're in an alternate timeline. Yes, I don't think I'm at that point yet. Like sometime around Nimrod showing up. Uh, okay, so I might be. I'm. I might. Ju- yeah, no, I'm just past that then. Yeah. If it's the first Nimrod appearance. I have no idea. Could be the second because I think they destroy him and then he just fucking shows up again. Because. Okay. Yeah. So it's the second. Well, that's Nimrod's whole thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's a future Sentinel thing. So. Yeah. Uh, I think we've tangent tangented off our track here, but I think that's probably that's probably all for the first episode, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's more once there's more of a basis, there's more to discuss and go back and connect dots. But right yeah. now, we just have the third of a map. Yeah, it's harder to to base an entire conversation off the first episode when you really. I mean, it's all speculation, and there's too much speculation to be had. It's too hard yes. to say anything. So with the speculation, knowing the intended purpose in real life of the Philosopher's Stone, or at least what what is supposed to have been able to do, I'm curious to see how that'll come into play. Well, I think you'll be happy. I think you'll just be happy to see what what's coming. Perfect. All right. Well, with that being said, I think we go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you for watching another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Theta. This is Justin, our one bad rule. And we will catch you next time. Bye bye. Catch you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. 
And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?